So yesterday, you might recall, if you were watching or listening intently during our second hour, we talked to our health and fitness guru, Ravak Hoffman, about sleep and how it can affect your weight. Too little sleep can cause, of course, too much weight. But beyond that, a lack of sleep can affect us in more ways than just waist size. Why is it that uh, even when people seem to have gotten eight, nine, ten hours of shut-eye, uh, they often wake up tired, they're groggy, they're unable to perform their daily tasks without ingesting major stimulants. So what's going on? Well, it could be, it turns out, uh, something you're doing every night to disrupt the normal natural sleep pattern, and it has something to do with light. Richard Hansler, a Ph.D., joins us now on the Boomer's Lifeline to give us some insight on this. He is the director of the Lighting Innovations Institute at John Carroll University, and he did research on lighting for GE for more than 40 years. He's the author of uh, uh, three books on the effect of light on uh, uh, human health. His latest book is Pregnant, New Baby, Need Sleep. Richard Hansler, hey, thanks for being here with us today. We appreciate it. I'm very happy to be with you and a chance to uh, let people know about some of the dangers that lie in an ordinary light bulb. Yeah, well, that's the, that's the thing. Now, we know the importance of a good night's sleep, but what's keeping people awake at night? What, what, what are people doing that's disrupting their, their nice 10-hour rest? Well, the thing that most people don't know is that exposing the eyes to light in the evening or uh, during the night uh, does two things. The uh, first thing it does is it uh, suppresses the production of melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone that helps us sleep and has many other health benefits. And the second thing that uh, exposing the eyes to light does is that it resets our circadian or internal clock. Everybody has a clock in their brain that keeps track of time. And uh, exposing the eyes to light is the thing that resets that internal clock. So if you expose your eyes to light at the wrong time, it uh, upsets that clock and makes it think it's daytime when it really is nighttime. Dr. Hansler, I've heard about things like uh, blue light and white light. Can you tell us a little bit about those two types of light and, and what the difference is? Well, it wasn't until 2001 that it was discovered that uh, it is primarily the blue component in ordinary white light that does the damage. Uh, I did research for GE lighting for many years, making better and brighter light bulbs, only to find out after I retired and came to John Carroll University that using light at night can be damaging not only to your health and your sleep, but uh, your general uh, outlook on life. Hmm. It's a very disrupting thing, this exposure to bright light during the night. Uh, it was that knowledge that it was the blue component that gave me the idea in 2005 that we could solve the problem by developing light bulbs that don't make blue light. So, so or just ordinary light bulbs have been hurting people's chances of getting a good night's sleep, the ones that were around every day. So you developed a new, a, a new light bulb. This is kind of a gentler source of light. What, what is this exactly? Well, it's a light source that has got a coating on it that blocks blue light. So it produces all the other colors, and so you can carry on your normal evening activities but it doesn't upset your circadian clock and it doesn't stop the flow of melatonin. This is a, extremely important for all of us, but uh, even doubly so in the case of uh, new mothers that when they get up during the night, if they expose their eyes when they're taking care of their baby, and then they go back to bed and they wonder why they can't go back to sleep, <laughs> I've often said that was when I first started having sleeping problems because when I had my first baby, it was like nobody else is up at this hour and I cannot get back to sleep. And I know you recently wrote a book uh, directed at new mothers and we know that nobody's much more sleep deprived than new parents. So what advice do you have for new parents who are undergoing this, this sleep deprivation? Well, they can uh, read my book for the first thing, the book, <laughs> Pregnant New Babies Need Sleep. 
and uh, in it we describe the various steps that uh, women can take while they're pregnant and uh, prepare them to be mothers and not have to worry about this problem of postpartum depression. It's a very serious problem for many people. About 20% of, uh, of new births result in a woman having postpartum depression. Yeah, so, yeah Dr. Dr. Hansler, talk about that for a second. Can, how can improved lighting help people with, with some kind of depression or seasonal affective disorder? Right, that's another area where our uh, light bulbs and our glasses that we also make not only the light bulbs, but glasses that block blue light. And uh, these products are available on our website at lowbluelights.com. Your listeners may want to go to that website to learn more about this. I've also written other books in addition to the Pregnant New Baby Needs Sleep book, and uh, they're available on uh, the Kindle version for only 99 cents a piece, so they can become experts on the subject of the effect of light at night. 99 cents, so can they would, do, do, can they uh, go to lowbluelights.com for that, or is that Amazon, or where can they go and get the... Uh... Amazon is the one that has the Kindle version. Okay, so you can go to Amazon.com, and the book, again, is called Pregnant, New Baby, Needs Sleep, and then I'm sure it, it, it sheds, not, I'm not going to say shed some light, that's stupid, but it gives <laughs> us some insight as to what people can do, not just new mothers, but ways that everybody can, can, can change the lighting in their house, right? Right, we have thousands of customers that are now sleeping uh, much better because of our product. Nice. All right. Hey, Richard Hanser, thanks very much for joining us. The website, again, lowbluelight.com, did I get that right? That's correct. Okay, low blue light. Hey, thanks again. We appreciate you being with us. Uh, probably could have used that book, what, about, about 25 24, years 25 ago. years ago? <laughs> well, you know, once again, I mean, it's not just having the kid. It's, it's it, as we said, now you say, okay, well, the kid's asleep now. Uh, I, it, it's 1.30 in the morning. It's 2 o'clock. What am I doing here? That or the, the times when you're lying on the couch, you can barely stay awake, and all of a sudden, so you, you stumble into bed, and then you're, you yeah. know, like that yeah. for the next you know, three or four hours. Yeah, so. that, that is not good. But that I, I'm personally going to go on that website because if it's something we can do that can change the way we get better so, sleep, I'm all for it. It's Roy G. Iv. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> instead of, we get rid of the blue. <laughs> all right. Hey, a lot more to come. Stick around. Professor Plum will be joining us in another hour of the Boomer's Brain Trust with Johnny Dean and Dinah Smith. Don't go away. We're talking about what's important to you, your money, your business, your life. This is Boomer's Brain Trust. The views and opinions expressed on the show are not necessarily those of this station or its sponsors and should not be considered as legal tax or investment advice. You should always consult with the appropriate advisors before making any financial decision.